Hi guys, White Witch 110 here. This is the Santa that we are going to I'm going to change into a witch. I'm not going to do it all today. I want to get this all painted first. That's the main thing. So I've got my black. Just the craft paint you can get at up here at Dollarama. And I have that's hubby. He's putting his um, the sugar for the candy floss into containers. I probably should have roughed this up, but too late. This is going to take a couple of coats. But I thought I would sh share this. Now I'm going to take it that the um, this is supposed to be the fuzz on the hat. It won't be. I will have that as maybe the hair because I'm going to put like the brim of the hat there. And then just go along there. Yes, I know. Halloween is a ways off. But that doesn't mean that we don't have to not make stuff. I have been watching La Machine on YouTube. You can still see Ho Ho Ho. That's okay. Because I'm just putting this coat on. I may end up putting felt on here, but I want a coat of black anyways. Now, that's done. Now, I still may have somewhere the fun fur from Dollarama. I'm not sure, but uh, I wanted to use that for the beard. Concentration. I know there are people saying I should have done this, I should have done that. But, ugh, we got them. Here's my old rag. That's pretty much clean. Hmm. Oh, it's also coloring in my tarot coloring book earlier. Hubby cooked a roast in the crock. That's the cats. My drawers are on the bed. Um, yeah, he had a roast going in the crock pot until this morning. Nothing like getting woke up around two and smelling that. 
thinking you're dreaming and then remembering. No. That's right. He's cooking. As he says, he was slaving over it all night. The crock pot was slaving over it. Well, that already makes a big difference. What do you think? to look out my Halloween stuff. I just haven't felt like doing that yet. I know where it is actually. I'm just hoping everything I want is in it. I'll be happy if it is. think for the other spots oh I gave him a little a little birthmark <laughs> I can stay there I'm not messing with that one That was easy. <laughs> and now I'm going to do the edges. It sounds like he's going to go outside. Hasn't been too bad here today. Oops. Actually. We're out on the balcony earlier. Taking some other stuff down. We had um, you've probably you've seen it in the videos. It's like a cat's tail, and it's supposed to light up, but it doesn't anymore. It fell. I can't remember if it fell when we, when the hurricane came through or tornado came through, or if it was before. I can't remember. But it wasn't lighting up properly anymore. And then the more I thought about it, as of lately, I haven't seen it light up at all. So I figured, why keep it? So that went. The heron that I had that lasted so long finally fell apart the wind we've been having. It's been hanging on. So apparently it did fall off. Hubby picked it up. Luckily it didn't make it down to the neighbor. Um, yeah, so that went to garbage. And then the wind, windmill, wind thing we had from Canada Day. It got all wrecked. Part of it came off with the bad wind that we had in last summer. So that finally, we took that down. That went in the garbage. What else? Uh, an old little uh, wind thing I had. It was so gross. That went into the trash. I think that's about it right now. Well, and the thing that the outside altar was on, that's also went to the bin. Uh, the pigeon poop on that was unreal. And when I was sweeping it out on the bottom, I was shocked to see all these peanuts. I don't remember having any peanuts left to throw. 
uh, down to uh, squirrels. But there was a whole bunch of peanuts. Looked like they were all open. I can't see the pigeons doing that, but the cats were always looking in that corner when that thing was out there. And I always wondered what they see, what they were seeing because I would go put the flashlight outside and I would see nothing. So it still doesn't make sense to me to what they were looking at. But obviously something that grabbed their attention. But now that whole corner is all open and it looks so different out on the balcony. And then taking the cattail light down. It even looks more weird now because that's all gone. So even more you can see the balcony just feels cleaner. There's still a lot of tchotchkes sitting on the table. But I don't want to do anything yet. I've got to get, or I want to get... One of those bench type container things for the balcony that I can put all the Halloween stuff in. Because that right now is sitting in one tub on the balcony. The other stuff never made it into a tub once it got home last year. So... Part of that's been out there all winter, just in a bag. But it was the cauldrons, plastic cauldrons. So they should be okay. Hopefully. So there we go. He looks like a lumberjack now. Yeah, he does. He looks like a lumberjack. So what I like about using this paint... Because it dries pretty fast. Mm. Excuse me. I'm eating black bow. I love black bows. And really nice candy. Small in size. Starts out black. I believe as you eat it, it changes color. And then when you get right down to when it's the tiniest... That's when it starts to dissolve. I've had these since I was a kid. We used to go, when we were at the cottage, we'd go to Crow's. My friend Kathy and I, whom I call my cousin, because we were very close. Of course, as you get older, you all end up doing your own thing so I got black on his face we'll figure that out later okay so this is the start I'll worry about that little circle I'm gonna leave the other little bits I'll take care of later let me bring you up so there you can see he has changed change change changed so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to leave them like this to dry. Hopefully the cats, well, they've been getting up on top of here. So maybe I should find, hmm, this may have to go into the kitchen where it's locked and they can't get at it. Okay, so that's what I think I'll do. I'll put this in the kitchen. So there's the start of it. We've got all the white black now. My idea, as I said, is to put like um, the brim of a hat. There's, of course, going to be a spider on it. If I can find the uh, fun fur that I have, it's white. So uh, what I may end up doing is mixing black and white and making it gray. And then I'll try and attach it here. It's just an idea. It's not written in stone. The spots here that are still white, I will use a toothpick. I put those away because of the cats. Now I've got to find them. And then the face, I'm not 100% sure how that's going to go yet. 
course, these will have to go maybe gray instead of black. But we'll see. We shall see. So that's it so far. And if I end up don't like this here, that'll be ripped off. No problem. So I hope you enjoyed the start of this one. And now that I'm looking, ha, 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 ha. I have another one that I wanted to. This one, I don't know if you'll remember, I got this. What the heck was that? Downstairs in our laundry room, along with this and a couple of other things. And I decided I wanted this to be all black. So good thing I looked over there. Okay. This will likely take a couple of passes as well. I don't know where they... I want to say they probably got this at um, Michael's. It looks like something that would be at Michael's. I don't think Dollar M. No, it doesn't have a Dollar Mama sticker. So this had to have been Michael's where they got this. So... I mean, yeah, it probably could be a jack-o'-lantern or a ghost, but I'm deciding to paint it black. Because I want to. Okay. Yeah, see, I had already started to use it. With a little bit of red in there. But, uh, no. Okay, just go over this quickly. So this will be another one that I want. That I'm going to have to stick in there to, to dry. So the brats don't get at it. I did leave paint here once before and some, I can't remember who it was. Ended up jumping up here, stepping in it and luckily there, it was like really, this thing was dry basically dry so not much purple ended up anywhere now just put that over there so put the other one on top there we go as always what can i say so that's all black i mean i probably leave the inside white could change my mind i'm not sure but anyways to my youtube family Thank you for coming by to see what I was crafting, or starting to craft, I should say. I hope you enjoyed seeing the beginning of, of the Santa Turned Witch. For those of you new to my channel, I do have other crafts that I've done. You can check out my other videos to see all the different crafts that I've done in the past. If you find any that you like, Please give it a thumbs up. Drop me a comment if you really do like it and I have the stuff to do it. I'll do another one of whatever it is that you like. So if you do find something, thumbs up, drop me a comment, share it out. That is always appreciated. And... Consider becoming a subscriber while you're here. And if you do, remember to click the notification bell. Now, I don't know if I mentioned this in my other video, but the oval plaques, these plaques here, they had tons of them at Dollarama. Tons of them. I didn't get any. Funds were not there for that this time, but I am planning on getting some more because I do enjoy working with this shape, definitely. And I'm so bad. I've got ones with my niece's name still to send. I have two that I did for a friend for her granddaughters. I still have, I have become so bad at sending stuff out. 
and one of my friends, Tammy, I still, I, hey, I got the envelope. I just have to put the book and a couple other things in it. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. Every time you think that you can send it something or other, and then you don't end up doing it. But hopefully, hopefully I will this time. I was planning on sending it to Tammy this uh, weekend, but it's been up and down with what's closed and what's open and what day. Mm -mm. So I'm, I am going to get it ready, and I will show you once it's ready. Okay, big, long-winded. It has been sunny here. Last night, the uh, full moon, actually it was the night before, but la I woke up early this morning and the moon was shining in to the apartment. I love that. It is gorgeous. But anyways, until next time, ciao for now.